Welcome back to Rare Oakleys. We've had a lot of, or at least a couple of requests recently to unbox or to review some vintage Oakley footwear. So today we're going to be taking a look at a pair of vintage bottle cap flesh. The real deal, OG, 20 plus years. Before we do that, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. If you have subscribed, hit that like button if you enjoy the video and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss a future episode. Speaking of episodes, be sure to check out our other videos because we have a ton of great and exclusive content that you're only going to see here, such as this unboxing. And don't forget to also check out my very awesome book. If you want to have an awesome Oakley collection, if you want to have a ton of money packed away in the bank, if you want to retire early, if you're tired of dealing with all the drama at work, definitely check out my book. And listen, if you like the drama at work, if you like getting up early every day, week after week, month after month, year after year, that's okay. I totally understand. You should still check out my book because it is a great and fun and entertaining read. Links are below in the description. So the bottle cap flesh came out in the early 2000s, I think 2003, 2004-ish, somewhere in there. This happens to be my favorite colorway, and I did get a few different pairs. We can take a look at some other ones in future episodes, but... This happens to be my favorite colorway. Let's come on in a little bit so we can take a closer look at the box. We got the static O on the edge here. This doesn't fully close all the way. It's got a warning. What does it say here exactly? I kind of remember, but let's take a look at the box here because this is a cool box. This is a vintage box. Specifically engineered to be consumed like fuel, designed for maximum traction and transient response. The equipment within this container is intended only for those who require full throttle race foot tire technology. That's pretty cool. And of course, they got the static O here as well. What do they have on the back? Anything? No, the back is pretty pretty basic. But here on the ad, you can see this is my favorite couple color. This is the yellow bottle, bottle cap flesh. And actually, it's more black than yellow, but it has yellow accents. Size nine and a half. And back in the day, look at what the price was back in the day. Like a hundred bucks. I think if you buy the remakes or the re-releases or the retros of these, they're closer to 200, 180, 200, something like that. But let's get these, let's get these over here. Let's, let's unbox these. Let's check them out. And again, these have been worn a couple of times. These have probably been worn about, I'm going to guess five or six times max. Probably not even that. They may have only been worn three or four times. And look at the huge box that they give you too. Notice all the room in here. Like they could give you a box that's substantially smaller because these shoes don't take up that much space. And this is the original tissue that was in there as well. But look at these shoes, very cool. And you can see the traction here is still completely intact. And again, these were barely one, barely any dirt on the bottom of these. I don't think I've ever cleaned these. Like I said, I think these have only been worn three or four times, maybe max five or six. But this is one, here's the other. Let's take a closer look at the design here. These are suede leather uppers and then aeroprint or neoprene. I don't know exactly what one of the two. They're, they're similar on the inside and the collar on the inside. You can see it's got the size screen printed here on the inside near the ankle. You've got the inserts of the shoes, the, which these are a little bit padded on the inside too for additional comfort. I'm going to take these insoles out to show you guys the insoles. And of course, these are a board last, meaning they don't have the incision in the center of the shoe. They just go around the perimeter. Those are board last. Slip last have an incision in the center of the sole. Here are the insoles. Oh, they got a little bit of debris there. Like I said, they were worn a couple of times. but And they got that same kind of a warning. I can't. Can you can you read what, the, what it says on there, the message? It's actually kind of hard cover to cover securely fastened when machine is in use. So pretty cool in content and in, in uh, keeping with Oakley's industrial type mentality. And here's the bottom of the insoles. They've got the Oakley logo here and they're, they're a little thick. They're not extremely thick, but you can see the thickness here. They're a little bit thicker in the center right around here where the Oakley ellipse is. So they provide, I think, a little bit of additional cushioning. But let's let's check out the shoes a little bit more here. Hang on. If I can get the insole back in here, maybe it wasn't a good, such a good idea to take it out, huh? <laughs> All right. 
So you can see they have the yellow stitching accents. Come on in so we can get a good look at these. Interesting fact, these little yellow traction pods, well, they were called traction pods. That was the name that Oakley had for them. And I think they have an adhesive that makes them stick to the sole. So I don't want to pull on them too much. And then, of course, you have the Oakley ellipse here. And then you've got the pull tab in the back with the Oakley ellipse. And it says flesh here because these were the bottle cap flesh. Now I'm going to try these on. Oh, and last but not least, we got a metal icon. I think it's metal. It feels like metal. Maybe it's a hard plastic, but it feels like metal. This icon happens to be a gloss black or a polished black. Most of the icons on the bottle cap flesh were a color that would contrast more. Um, for example, I got the gray pair and they have a black icon as well but this icon kind of blends in a little more because you got the black suede and then the black polished or the gloss black icon. But I'm gonna try these on. Hopefully these things will not fall apart because they have been sitting in storage literally for years and years, at least, you know what? I haven't worn these in over 10 years. So they've been sitting in storage for a long time and uh, easy to slip on if I remember. Obviously you don't need a lot of effort so let's, let's zoom in on this so they can see. And you basically put your foot in and you just pull it with the pull tip. Wow, these are comfortable. I haven't, like I said, I haven't worn these in many, many years. There's the other one. Wow, this makes me wanna wear these now. Very comfortable shoes. And you can feel the traction pods on the bottom. It's weird, they're almost, it's hard to explain, but they provide kind of a, you can, you can feel them. You can feel them in the soles of your feet. Make sure they can see that good. And you zoom in on the shoe a little bit, catch the detail. Yeah, these are, these are really cool. And they seem to fit true to size. So I wear nine and a half typically in my Nikes. And these are, of course, nine and a half, as you guys saw. Now, what would be a really cool thing to wear with a vintage pair of Got Bottle Cap Flesh? We're gonna give you a sneak peek, just a little bit of a glimpse not too much, but that is ion plated stainless there. You guys see that a little bit? Wow. We're going to have to unbox this unofficially. I don't think this one's ever been worn. I think this is brand new in the box, never worn. That's why I say hit that bell icon because you never want to miss a future episode. As always, thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. Don't forget to hit that bell icon. And we will see you next time on Rare Oakley's.